Hey, this is Adam with Tech Dive AV Club. I'm making a thumbnail. It might not be the best thumbnail, but I got a trick for you. If you want to do something like take an image and get rid of the white really fast, you could come through and mask it out slowly uh, with like a brush mask. Uh, invert it here and then you can make it bigger and slowly cut out the white but we're not going to do that we're going to delete that mask uh, another thing you could do is uh, this is also not what we're going to do but I just want you to know you can do it you can create a vector mask where you can actually draw the picture slowly out this is like a more traditional video style masking uh, but we're not going to do that either I'm going to delete this mask too the easiest way to get rid of a white background is to just Go to the image luminance mask and then uh, you don't want to mask out any of the dark sea. You can use the, the range of light here. You can mask out the black uh, too and the white. Uh, if you notice it kind of already pre-masked out most of the white but it's very Kodak. Uh, we're going to use a sharp fall off angle and a harsh cut of the white to kind of get rid of most of that. Now is this perfect? No. The other methods are better for getting a perfect one but it's more pedantic. It takes a long time to kind of get that perfect cut. This is a thumbnail. It just needs to be like, oh, look, that's scissors without having the white covering up everything else. So the white highlighting will actually kind of the little bit of pixels of white here actually kind of help the scissors pop, which is actually a good thing for a thumbnail. So, uh, yeah, that's a quick way to do it. Another thing. So one more little way. Uh, let's delete this mask here. Uh, if you're doing like a brighter background or something and you want to get rid of the white, uh, you can actually go to multiply mask. Uh, in your blending modes at the top here. And that kills white very, very well, but it also blends the rest of your picture into the picture behind it. Sometimes that looks very nice and gets rid of the white. Uh, and especially it'll kind of start, it'll kind of blend the colors a little bit, maybe even make your graphic design look better. Uh, this is way too subtle for what we're doing and it makes the scissors kind of invisible. So it's not a good choice for this one. I definitely need to use the uh, image luminance, but that's a couple of different ways you could quickly crop out some white without having to spend forever on just something silly like that. So thank you so much for watching. Like if this video helped you out. Subscribe if you're looking for more videos like this one. I do videos about the uh, Vegas post series a lot. Uh, more Vegas effects coming soon, but I got Vegas uh, image and plenty of Vegas Pro coming your way. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.